What is up, guys? Today I want to happily report that I finished a C846, other known as the ITIL exam. As you see here, it took me about five days to complete the class. I didn't study the whole thing, but uh, I did, you know, take five days from when the last class I finished. I took a day break after software quality assurance and then started studying and then you know, took the test. As you see here, I got 83%, 33 out of 40. I believe the minimum test score is a 65%, if I'm recalling correctly. Yeah, it's, it's something like that. I think it's like 26 questions correct, uh, something like that. Overall, this is a pretty straightforward class. It's weird trivia, and there is a very tried and true method to pass this class. It's, it's simple, not necessarily easy, it, this class is going to feel like you're just digging a shovel, uh, digging a hole. There's only really one way to do it, and it's to cram your brain. And like I said, I only studied for about three days, but let me tell you exactly what to do. I followed this course, this this guide right here, and I'll link this in the description. Basically, all this person says is to download this app, which I don't also have any affiliation to this company, and I'll link I'll link this post and I'll link this app as well. The tr uh, you can ignore one, two, three, four. You ignore these two, or one at least. Go get your voucher right away. Go get the app, and just go through the app. There's syllabus topics, and as they state here, after you're reliably passing everything, it might take a few hours. Go back to the first menu and just do sample exam. So if you have the app, you'll know exactly what that means. You open the app. It'll give you only three options. The first option is do a sample exam. The second option is to do a syllabus test. And the third one's like has to do with like scheduling your exam, which is irrelevant. You're going to choose the middle option and you're going to go through every single topic until you can pass it. And then once you can pass every topic, there's about nine topics, I think. And then you go back and do the sample test. Now, what I did was I did every section until I could pass 100% two times in a row. Now, it might sound overwhelming, kind of is at first but literally if you could pass every section two times in a row 100 percent. after that i did the practice test the first option 10 times in a row like three out of ten of them i got 100 percent. all the other ones only got like one wrong i opened up the jason dion udemy thing that i saw linked in some of the other reddit posts and i just realized it's exactly the same thing essentially the same thing just slightly worded different than what the the app i just had that I just recommended did I did one test I got like an 85% and I was just like well there's no point in me doing this but it is slightly worded different you just have to interpret it and the only benefit to that doing it at least once is to realize that when you actually take the actual ITIL exam it's a little the wording is slightly different but mostly the same so my opinion if you can get up if you can get 100% on on the app you're good to go. I bet if you can get 100% on Jason Dion and you get 100% on the app, I bet you can get like a 90% on the actual exam because Jason Dion words it a little differently and the app words it a little differently. I imagine if you have it both, you could pass. And I'm sure if you just did Jason Dion, you could pass as well. That's the cool part. If I had to do it over, I would do the exact same thing. I would maybe do more of the Jason Dion. I did one. There was like six of them. I only did one of them. And uh, the only thing I did want to mention is that they want you facing a door when you do the test. I had to reposition myself because normally I do it on my kitchen table and there's like, there's my front door, there's my bedroom door, and there's a glass door as well from my kitchen table. They're like, oh, you have to you have to sit with your back facing them and you have to be able to see it. So I actually had to move all my stuff into my bedroom while the proctor was live. So that's the one thing I did want to note there is that you, your back has to be facing the exit point. So if I would prime, I would ideally do it in a small bedroom and then just, I have a table tray. So I just did a table tray, but if you, you might have to move stuff around. It's super annoying. I didn't like it, but oh, well, that's what we had to do. Cause remember it's through people cert, not through WGU and that's it. It's my last class as a capstone and hopefully I'm going to be finishing, finishing it soon. The date that I'm recording this video is June 21st. So I think I should be having it done in a couple days. Uh, and I hope you will be seeing another update from me soon. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.